toothbrush review time. I showed you guys my toothbrush in a previous video that I got from a store nearby called Nuts and Berries. The brand for the toothbrush is My Magic Mud. And I'm going to be reviewing that today. It's made of bamboo, but the bristles, again, remember, bristles are always at least part plastic, so that's absolutely impossible unless you want to brush your teeth with pig's hair or neem sticks. And I'm also going to be reviewing my elevated tooth powder. I bought this from Amazon. It is a glass jar, metal lid, and it is Calendula Rosemary Echinacea Activated Charcoal Xylitol Sacred Clay and Pure Peppermint Oil. I really wanted to like this. I really did. I've actually bought a tooth powder before with charcoal and you'll see in a minute it's kind of fun. You get to turn your teeth black like you're in a Halloween movie and then when you're done they're like white. But um, that one came in plastic so I bought this new tooth powder to try for the plastic challenge that comes in a jar. Well, you already saw in the other video it came with a plastic wrap around it, a seal. I think that that has to happen. I'm not 100% sure unless you buy it locally, which I don't have a source for that right now. And yeah, I'm just going to show you guys first. I hope you can see my teeth. Do they look yellow? I want them to look yellow because I want you to see that your teeth look real white after using this. I don't know if you heard any of that. I was basically saying, I want you to see that it does turn your teeth white. So what you do with a tooth powder is you wet your toothbrush, dip it in there, and get a little powder on it. Now, hopefully you can see this. It really kind of makes a mess in your sink. Do you see the tooth powder falling down there? Yeah. And it does that. And sometimes you can splash the mirror a little bit with black powder when you're brushing. But here we go. Mmm. Uh. <laughs> you see? It's black. Uh -huh. Nasty, disgusting goop. You see how it's making a mess on my mouth? It's kind of gross. And I can't really show you, but it splashed the mirror black. So weird. So as you can see, it kind of makes a mess of your sink. So I pretty much have to rinse my sink out every time I wash my teeth. Which is obnoxious and time consuming and I don't wash my sink usually with my hands. That's just what I have right now. So I don't like that. Then when I'm done, it's all over my mouth and I still have charcoal pieces in my mouth so I have to rinse. Several times. Now that I'm done Nice and shiny. Pearly white. It does make your teeth white. In the end, I feel like there's still charcoal in my teeth after I swished my mouth out. This didn't happen to me when I used 
my charcoal powder before. In fact, I'll show you that brand. This is my other brand. It is also from Amazon, I believe. M3 activated coconut charcoal powder. But this one came in plastic, so I, I've actually had the experience with charcoal powder before, um, which is what led me to buy this for the Plastic Free Challenge, but this one especially is like, it's lumpier or something than my other charcoal powder, and I don't like it. I do not like it. It really discourages me to brush my teeth, which is bad because I'm already forgetful with brushing my teeth. I get distracted. I forget. This makes it even harder because then it's more like a chore instead of a pleasant experience. Um, it does make my teeth really white, but my mouth, it, it just feels gross. It doesn't taste very good, and it kind of, like I said, leaves lumpy clumps of charcoal feeling in my mouth. And it doesn't freshen my breath enough to where I feel like I can go make out with somebody after I brushed my teeth. So it's lacking there. Like my teeth feel clean, but my breath doesn't taste amazingly minty and it just makes a mess. So I'm really, I feel like there's a lot more cons to this than there are pros. Obviously, yes, I'm reducing my plastic uh, footprint because there's only a plastic seal on this. The rest is glass and metal, but it's just gross. Um, Financially speaking, it's a great investment because, I mean, I've been using this for a month now and barely put a dent in this jar, so like, this is going to last forever. And it didn't cost very much, I think it was like $10. I will put that on the screen so you can see how much I paid for it, I don't know while I'm shooting this video. Um, but no. Absolutely not. I don't, this is not a good enough product for me to continue using or to even get me to switch from plastic. I hate to admit it, but I would definitely go back to plastic bottles instead of this because I just, I do not like it. I don't, I hate that, but I don't. Um, there are other options out there. I have found these toothpaste pellets and things that you can get that um, you use one and put it in your mouth. I haven't tried those yet, so maybe that's another option. And there's other tooth powders, so maybe they wouldn't be as disgusting as this one. Like I said, the other one that I have doesn't bother me so much, but this one, I'm not a fan. Don't buy it. Don't waste your money. Sorry, Elevated Company, but I'm not happy with this product at all. I would like to actually return it. It's just, no. I don't want to use it after I'm done with these 30 days that I'm done using my, oh no. Toothbrush wise, let's talk about the toothbrush for a minute. Oh, this is a plus. It says, brush like a boss. I like that, it's cute. Um, now I can't tell, there's some stuff on this toothbrush, I've been using it for a while, and I can't tell if it's mold or if it's charcoal powder. I'm pretty sure bamboo is not supposed to mold. That's the whole reason they use that as a hygienic alternative to plastic. So it might just be charcoal powder. So there's that. Um, it's comfortable enough. It does a good job. But it has a slight, at least this particular brand. Again, this is the only brand of bamboo brush I've tried, so I can't write off all bamboo brushes and I'll continue to try other options hopefully until I find something I like, but if you see, I can't, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's splintering a little bit already, and it tastes a little bit wooden in my mouth, which is not pleasant, um, and I've already lost a bristle or two, like I'm brushing my teeth and then there's like a something there and it flights and it's like a hair in your mouth, so that's not a good thing. Um, Again, there's black around it, but it's probably the charcoal. So, 
So, I'm not super sold on this brush, but again, this might be just the particular brand. I don't know if it's the brand or if it's just bamboo toothbrushes in general, as I don't have anything else to compare it to. Will I use it? Continue to use it? I will probably finish using up what I have in plastic toothbrushes, and then when that's done, I will continue using the bamboo brush and maybe purchase some other ones to see if there's a another option out there that doesn't have those cons, but <laughs> pros of it, it's plastic free or virtually plastic free. Obviously there's still the bristles. It, obviously that's pretty much the only pro of it. I mean, it does a decent job, but I liked my plastic electric toothbrushes better. So yeah, it's plastic free, hooray, cons, it sheds. It's already splintering. It kind of tastes like wood in your mouth. And it can't be electric, which kind of sucks. But overall, a usable option. Toothpaste, absolutely not. Con, 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 con. It's all cons on the toothpaste, except for the fact that it's virtually plastic free. Um, not a fan. I will not be using the toothpaste anymore after this. Um, why can't they just put toothpaste in glass jars? Like. We could do the same thing, but it could be the same paste that we know and love, but in a glass jar instead of a plastic squeeze bottle, and you're just dipping it in. Just don't share your toothbrush with anybody. Sorry, obviously. Don't share your toothpaste with anybody. If it was in a jar, it would have to be just your jar. Couldn't squeeze it out onto a toothbrush and share that with someone else, but you can't do that with a jar. But still, same toothpaste you know and love, but in a jar. Why not? I don't understand. It would be that simple. If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too. See you later. I keep saying toothbrush. Uh. <laughs> Brush like a boss.